Good luck to both of you. Yesterday, that this may be a couple rounds of him feeling Monroe out before he unleashes the heavy artillery. Willie Monroe Jr. and basically every top fighter who's come up through the ranks and fought Darnell Boone has either lost or nearly lost to him. Club can land with a short right hand inside. Momentarily traps primary weapon against southpaw fighters for most conventional fighters. Good body shot. Now he has him in a corner. Golovkin flashing some good defense so far in this first round, Roy. Avoiding those shots without wasting much energy, turning his shoulder. Like Chocolatito on the undercard. The biggest problem Monroe has is he hasn't hit Golovkin with anything like hit him, or he can just have free-range target practice. And when he can have free-range target practice, that's going to happen. Can't let Golovkin have free range target packs at you because he's gonna catch you sooner or later. And Monroe's still really on his feet, and Golovkin won't give him room to think. It's constantly keeping the pressure on. Monroe goes Monroe for the second time. Golovkin's got 46 seconds oh. left in the round. Oh, good shot! The by best Monroe. shot that Monroe's landed this fight is that left and uppercut. And another one. And Gennady shakes it off and comes back. Right hand. One more shot upstairs. There it is. Overhand right, hurt him really bad. Willie Monroe gets a momentary edge there as Jack Reese warned on the low blows. The right hook. Combination possible because his head stays up and his like hands that. go down. Yeah, he counters the, the right hook from Monroe, Monroe with his own, or he won't be in this fight low. There you go. Yeah. Uh, as I said, a couple of good body shots by Monroe. Put you down. You have to make him respect you, or he'll continue to walk through your punches until he gets the knockout. Well, and ripping to the body as well as he can. And Golovkin comes back with a couple of body shots of his own. Landed for Gennady. Another straight right hand lands for Gennady. Movement is not working for you. Stop moving and fight. You got to give him a 10-7 round for the two knockdowns in round number two, Jim. So, you know, that gives him a real big lead on the scorecards along the ropes where Gennady catches him constantly. Three to nothing. Right hook to the body early, but he didn't follow it up. If he'd have followed it up, it would have been a very impressive thing to see. Tough one. The minor upset already that Monroe's here. Little punches, as we saw against Daniel Gill. Oh. Gennady would walk through those little punches. Those are big shots Monroe's hitting Golovkin That's with. exactly Please. right. That's exactly right. He got to do that. Big punches. He may not make it through the rest of the fight, but he certainly earned Guys, Golovkin respect. Better puncher than we think he is. He just hasn't had a chance, a chance to really prove it. Throwing punches, through a jab, and followed with a beautiful straight left hand. Probably one of the hardest shots we've seen Golovkin get hit, get hit with. And Golovkin just looked at him and said, yes, good punch, come on. I agree with Harold. I mean, oh, uppercut lands for Golovkin. Seemed to hurt Willie Monroe. Maybe academic, but. Oh. oh. Hook how the top of the hurt. Hey, hurt him really bad, Jim. Every time. You can't let Golovkin just stalk you and hunt you like this. Look at the hard left hand by Monroe. I mean, Monroe is hitting Golovkin with shots where Golovkin's head is snapping and the sweat is flying. And Golovkin once again motioning to him like, come on. Come on, keep firing. On my road that he didn't count it back. I mean, there's another one. This is where Golovkin has done damage before. Hard shot by Monroe. Hard right hand. You see, Monroe has to deliver the same thing. Golovkin took over the punch count leadership in the last round oh, again. Heard it with Straight a right hook. Right up, cut. heard it really Straight bad, John. He's right. wobbled Monroe again. Yeah, right He's got him against the ropes. Oh, Rabka hurt him really bad, and the hook just hurt him even worse. He's out of here. Third knockdown. Tip. You just beat it. You just beat it. You got to move faster. You want to continue? His legs are gone. You want to continue? His legs are gone. Yes, thank you. Yeah. Willie Monroe says to Jack Reese, I don't want to continue. He said, I'm done. So he took a, 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 he gave a jab to take a big shot. Then that left uppercut hurt him really bad right there. Followed by that left hook right there, right behind the ear. That really was the finishing punch. He had his opponent done to an overhand right, followed by a left hook. Now he smells blood. He's on the attack, and he will not let up because he's relentless once he starts that attack.
And still undefeated and still the middleweight champion of the world, Gennady Triple G. Golovkin.